Hello, hello, my name is Adam and today I am welcomed with Joel. Joel, would you like to say a few things on the matchup today? Well, so far we've had a wonderful derby weekend with the Grey High School versus Selborne College. I can agree on and, uh, that. The hockey was something to watch, I must say, with a 4-2 victory going to Grey High School, but unfortunately they couldn't do the same thing with the rugby. I mean, it's especially as a last, last derby of the year, I mean, you'd want good results both ways. And unfortunately, it's just very like one, 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 you know, back and forth, just like a ping pong table. Really. It's just back and forth, back and forth the whole time. And I think it's been like that for a few years now. Almost, it's Gray and Selborne always winning one thing, and the other ones losing the other. So yeah, no. definitely, it's always a good derby weekend between the schools. There was even a school concert containing both bands and a mass item at the end. It was really good to see. Good, that's good. I say I wasn't really there for the rugby. I had to leave, to leave early on the Saturday morning to come back to school. Oh, not to school, sorry, come back home. Yeah. The moment yeah. to attend to. I really wish I could have attended the rugby. But it is. Yeah, here, here yeah. yeah, it was quite a good atmosphere at the match. And um, well, as you can see, we have our. Starting lineup with Valorant for Valorant with our grey side being Fat Fricky, Perg Fury, Aaron, Hero Salmon, and the best omelette. So, familiar names here for us today. And for the Selborne side, we have Sal Exodus, we have Aqua, we have Chang, we have Oni, and we have Spotify adding. Interesting name choices, nonetheless. It's quite usual and, uh, in the I think high school can... scene. Yeah, it is quite usual actually. <laughs> And I think when both teams are ready, the match is going to go underway at any point now. I haven't been able to see much of the Selborne Valorant side, but uh, the Grey High side has managed to play second in the ACGR League for Term 2. I must say, Selborne has kept themselves very under the radar in terms of this, their school Valorant League. I'm, I'm very, very eager to see what they're able to put out today, con considering they're going up a play second placement Valorant side here from the ACGL League. And co especially considering their last game that they had with TMC, the current winning champions of the ACGL League, who they just narrowly lost to 
See, we've got the map pick of Fracture. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, from from what I've seen from the grey side, I think Fracture is personally one of their strongest maps, especially with Poke Fury on Viper. Um, he's he's a phenomenal Viper player from what I've seen. I mean, he's got he's got the lineups down to the T. He's he knows every nook and cranny of this map that you can think of that you can find. He knows that corner. If you if you try to point out a corner that you think one of the phase members or G2 members has never seen before, he'll find that corner and he'll tell you he's got a lineup for that corner. So I'm very, I'm very, I'm expecting a lot from Fury today on this map. As you can see in the team lineups, we have the grey high side going with the double controller and the Salborn side and choosing to go with the double initiator. So you can see how they pull those. Very, very crucial for the Selborn side to retake sites and stuff like that because because there's just so many angles that you'll have to go through with Breach and that. It's just, his util just makes it so much easier to, to clear those angles and to get through, especially with Jet. And, uh, and just Aaron, before we get... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Aaron okay. on Killjoy, not a problem. It's Aaron on Killjoy again as well. He's We've seen him in the past very good at holding down sites with that Killjoy. Going up against Chang on the Selborn side here, wondering if... Who's going to be the better killjoy this game? Uh, definitely. It's always good to see the operator battles one-on-one. -on -one. Especially down to a 1v1 scenario. I mean, then it just comes down to whoever the, the better um, killjoy is at the end of the day. Just before we get into the match, do you have any predictions? I don't want to put my predictions out too early, considering we haven't seen much of the Selborn side, but I mean... Apparently they are a very strong side with very a few high ranking team team members, so I definitely think Grey High is gonna be put under a bit of pressure this game. I think it could be very similar to TMC with like a 13-11, 13-10 type of vibe. Not too sure in which way though. But I suppose yeah. after the first few rounds we might be able to predict very early on who could be the the standing winners here. Apologies, it's just taking a while to load in. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Right as I speak. I think we're just waiting on a team member to load from one of the sides here. Because um, match timer has been... Okay, there we go. Match timer has been set. Pause. What do you think is the... Better way to defend on Fracture, as there are two different sides that the attackers could attack from. I think getting down a proper B defense here would be very crucial because there's B. There's a lot of ways that you can play through B, especially with that underpass there, allowing for a lot more rotations onto B side to crunch it on, crunch onto it. But um, A on the other hand is also very difficult to defend because of that dish side there. If you if you start focusing down towards A main. You start to get a little bit distracted by them and then allows for easy easy push through dish. So practice is one of those maps where if you have a good defense you'll have a good attack because because you'll know how to counter the ways other people would defend. I think to still be having a problem. But I must oh, say yeah. Solon doesn't really seem like they have that much of a defending defending side yeah. They look more attacking orientated, especially with their lineup at the moment. Yeah, because with the double controllers on the grey side, they have more ways that they could block off entries to the sites. Yeah. So, yeah. I think this first half could go in sub one's favor here with, the, with these lineups here. Yeah. But I, I know Fury is very dangerous on the post plant with his Viper lineups, so it could put up a very dangerous threat towards sub one. We did see in the TMC match that the grey side was quite good on their defense they lost a bit of maybe a bit of pressure on the attacking side but on the defense they brought it up quite close at the end and at one point they were even in the lead if i remember correctly yeah uh, i think it was like about eight two rounds up. so yeah i think this will be a very interesting game time has started Looks 
looks like Perg's throwing down a, a bait wall here towards B and rotating back towards A dish here. Might be looking to crash. Toxins towards going a. up. Three stack on A here from Sober. Sober City. Util being Back to thrown front. down on B from the grace. Ah, down you go. Early rotate here and they have, they have A side for free at the moment. Selborne stuck towards CT here. They're going to be trying, be trying very hard here for this rotate. That orb they're blocking Aqua's vision towards site. Out of charges. All grace should be looking for the to play the game, and maybe going to do just that. Poison off. Especially on these first rounds, it's worth to just. Pushing up towards A. Last player standing. from Salmon. Catching him off guard there once he looks towards the And you could pick there towards Salmon, but Aaron getting in there for the trade. Good first round from the grey side here. Putting them one round up. I think maybe the run to the B side with the Killjoy and Breach from the grey side made almost a few of the Soulborn players just moved to the B side thinking that the whole team was maybe rushing there. I think especially with that Viper wall there and that, that presence towards B main, I think that definitely like convinced them that it was possible B push. But they're looking to do a similar thing this round here. Same Viper wall towards B. Might be looking to stack players early here, but keeping this over towards CT again. Toxin screen down. Fury might be might be caught off guard yeah if he doesn't clear this corner. Got the spike. A good pick there from Fury. Now left in a 4v5 here. So Chang is away now, there's one or two A main here. Yeah, good pick from Fat Rookie. And the Launching gray shot. side's kind of just gotten side A for free, really. Polly! Sobo not really being able to find the defense here, considering it's their save round. But they haven't really got a pick yet either. Good pick from Exodus there towards Salmon. Iron's turret managing to get the trade though. Aqua's trying to push up A here. Frank Freddy's quite low here. He might not be able to pick him in. Good pick from Aqua here. Oh, Last player oh, standing. Frank Freddy manages to get in there on such low HP. They're all dead? Aaron I have more to tests the to run. Could be very dangerous for Aaron, considering that Shorty is very lethal close range. The good start for the grey high side, managing to secure the bonus round. Wonder what the economy is looking like for the Selborne side. I'm not too sure. Yeah, no. They've got a bit of a broken buy here going into this third round. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong team. It's, that's Grey side. Right They've got there. a full buy going into this third round, Selborne. Grey is the one with the broken buy. Very early presence towards B here from the Selborne side here. Good pick from Aaron. Breach not able to support that, that jet push there. He's falling back towards side now, getting his players to rotate here. This is leaving A very, very uh, like unopen here for push onto A for if they rotate here. Especially with that A raise that's busy lurking towards A main. They might be able to early come that site is free and be able to rotate here. As you can see, yeah, they are busy rotating through. He spawn now. Raze is now fully calm to them that they have Smoke's Cypher here and they can just plant. Selborn in a very big rush here to rotate the CT. Trying to delay here. But, oh, very unfortunate there from Salmon dinking him on the drop. Last player standing. Oh, unlucky. Only with a very good 3k there to secure the round for Selborn. Putting them 2-1 down. Now Aaron was kind of stuck in a tough situation there, surrounded by both sides. 
We defend this reality. Say. Ults this round is looking very interesting with someone side having the Astro ult here with the wall. Could be used to defend I've got enough time to go into the Astro a little bit more. Time out being called in here from Fury. I wonder what is going to be discussed here. Especially considering they have a Killjoy ult and a Breach ult. They might be looking just to fully aggress one side with that Killjoy ult and that Breach ult here. They're trying to just solidify the correct tactic on how they can rush onto site and secure the round. I think, I think they're definitely going to discuss doing a hard push onto one of the sites here. I think, I think they might be looking towards B or A. The way they're standing in their spawns at the moment here. Yeah? Looks a lot of players are drifting towards B. But um, especially with the Killjoy, the Killjoy ult that can be placed in underpass to almost like detain the whole of B site. I think that's that's going to be a lot more viable for this team here. The Killjoy ult does disallow any of the defending side to be on the B side, otherwise they will get detained for a free kill. Doesn't look like Breach or Jet are going to play that same same strat they did last round with that early push to catch him off guard. They look like they're just playing sight here. But Jet's Jet's getting a little you bit smart run. now. She's holding there towards where where Fury is. The Killjoy does go down in the underpass. Off your feet! And the Sawan players just managed to escape. Andre is now on site here bringing the bond down. But Sobon are very early to try and get this retake down. Flash out! Clearing out! Great, just looking to delay the game as much as possible here. If you're in a very good position, you might be able to get a few with that positioning. Just getting the one, they're unable to get the second. It's very unfortunate. Good. Standing. Oh, good picks there from the grey side. There. Eight. Yeah, the, the Killjoy uh, ult is re really good with taking the site there. As you can I see, mean, it's, it's exactly like how I predicted it. The breach ult and the the Killjoy combo there from underpass. I mean, it was almost inevitable, really. Like yeah. they could have almost predicted that round, I suppose. It was like almost impossible for the Salborn players to get on site. Yeah, especially with that, that Viper wall that went down, it almost blocked off their whole retake. They laid the game so nicely for Grey. But now they, they're still doing this. Salborn's still looking to do the same setup here with 3 on A and 2 on B, even though they've they've lost B so many times with the Grey's push. But it might, might benefit them this time stacking it. Good pick there from Omi. Good trade for Fury there. Toxins going up. Don't get in my way. Ultimate here from Fury. Allowing them to reach the take the side here. It's unfortunate for someone then on the CF save round here. Otherwise they might be able to do a lot more with this breach ult. Oh, sorry, brimstone ult. Grenade! Bomb buddy out. There. Engineer killed. My ult's ready. Look, manages to get the kill there with his drone. <laughs> Boom bot, yeah. Very unfortunate there for the top one players. Just caught in the corner there. No way of getting out. Player standing. Pick from Fury there, catching him from behind. So the exit is looking just to save the Phantom here, going into this next round for his team. It's a really good round played by Fury there, getting the good trade on Aaron, and also with his ult just blocking off sight, taking the picks through it. Just, just getting that extra bit of um, that leeway there towards side just to secure that round even more. You think you can? Here, coming no, from Chang here. It's not, now they're on. 
I think it's the same setup he's used for the past few rounds, but now just to see it in action, I think he's making a little more eye opening as to what like what Gray is having to do in order to get onto this A side. A ball there from Fury. Blinding! Approaching immediately to be there, just trying to give some presence off the other, but might be a fade. Forever! Really smash the noise down towards A main, I think. I think they can early rotate Toxins here. That's allowing Fury just to lurk all the way onto B side here. They might expect to rotate from Gray here. Getting B for free again. Someone are very early on their rotates here. This is very, very beneficial towards Gray. I mean, Fury is basically in CT here. Oh. Oh, it's so unfortunate that he had such a good lurk. Aqua managing to get the pick onto Fury. But they've now solidified their B site here. Fury that pushed up CT was able to delay their rotate back. Like planted. Worthless. Break from Fricky there, painful whiff from Exodus. Now he knows Last what tower he is, but in a very awkward situation, the one before. Oh, it's what if I addict man to do that Fricky. Unfortunate because they had the the rotate going. The whole of the Sabon team was on A. Just I think Fury should have almost been a little bit more patient there instead of having trying to lurk through a whole CT. I mean, he knew they were going to rotate as soon as they stopped making noise in A main. He could have just waited around the corner there, possibly got a pick or two. Very unfortunate timing that though. I feel like the Sabon side should maybe just have one player just at the other side just to make sure to stop the rotates happening. Yeah. I think they're gonna start doing that soon because that's, that's twice now they've lost the site to, to an early rotate. They might just might just leave someone on B here just to catch off that lurker. Very good early pick from Omelette here, wow. It's it not hasn't situation. caused any of the players who rotate early off of B here. But Jet, it seems, is rotating through CT here. Breaches as well by the looks of it. That's that's very strange. You thought they would have learned from the previous round. It seems like Ray going to do a full commit towards A here. Aaron is pushing up to the smoke here. They top one side unaware. And a good pick from Aaron here. Oh, unfortunate there. Exodus main to get the trade. They're aware there's a couple CT here. Uh, bad nade from Omelette here, giving away his position. Just trying to delay here with Viper Mollies from Fury. Exodus is waiting for that smoke. Standing. Down towards A main, they're not going to do lineups here. It's a very unfortunate situation here for Spotify Addict, just left there in that 1v4 situation. Good 3k from Omnus here to win the round for his team. We're here because we're the best. It's been a bit unfortunate for the Salborn side, losing their solo controller quite early in multiple rounds so far. I must say that push from Aaron there towards ropes was very beneficial towards that team because they, they really did not expect that at all through that brimstone smoke. I mean, he, he was almost able to get two picks out of that. He made made the, the Jet Spotify addict quite low there off of that push as well. And I think that, that one kill there basically won them that round because they were just unable to retake from there with, with two people only. So one side does have all five of their alts. Interesting to see how... To use this, to use this yeah, to their advantage. It would be stupid not to, I mean. Breach has got his second ult this round, this half. But I think your feet! Very early, very early ult from the attacking grey side here. Might be looking to work with it through the Brimson ult. Very good pick from Fury there towards body fighting. Spike down, B. Po Fury getting into his signature position here Not again. Coming back. Good Too slow. pick from Omni with the boom bot. Looking to hold a crossfire here with Omelette and, and Fury. Aaron's aware that he's in the corner there. He's just trying to wait for him to, to run out there so he can pick him off. Surprised he hasn't tried to use his nano swarm yet to catch him off. Placing swarm grenade. 
Swarm grenade out. 30 Shot seconds left. Smoke. And then we can get the pick onto the planter. Oh, Chang pushing through. Elbow here. Might be able to get the omelette tower if he peeks this. If he over aggresses here. Last player from standing. Fury. I don't think he knows who the last one is here. He's right behind him. Oh, omelette's there just to cover Fury. He's behind. Good pick there from the two of them. Well, very well played from the grey side there. You think you're able to make a more accurate prediction now for the game? I think so. I think so indeed. I, th I definitely think this is going to go in Grey's favor. Yeah, just the way that they are playing this attacking half. I mean, I I, I can't imagine what they're going to do to Salborn on defense, especially with that double controller setup. I mean, Ray's now still has his ult going into this round, this this ninth round here, and Brimstone as well. I mean, if they have to. If they have push B here, you can expect a full full clear of, of um, top of tower here from the Brimstone ult and raise onto site. I mean, it's almost a guaranteed B site if they push here. Killjoy ult looking to be down early here. Another secured site here, basically. Oh wait, Exodus might be able to get rid of this ult here. And doesn't get rid of it somehow. That is very unfortunate. Two players have been detained here from Selborne's side here. This is going to allow them to push up onto to A here. They've rotated here. They've fully duked the Selborne side. Good pick from Aaron. They're Spike catching planted. Exodus, off, Exodus off guard. Chang might be looking to use this ult for retake, but I don't see why it would be necessary to save the safe round. Rather save it for the next. Jet ult here coming from CT. There's very very fair retake here. It's, I mean, it's a 3v5 with ults. Yeah. Okay, no, Aaron's just absolutely going crazy there in top ropes. 3k already. Might be looking to get the ace here. One oh, enemy no, no. remaining. Ace for Aaron coming Long. in. Oh, it's very unfortunate. Omni just Nine nicking it away from his grasp. Very good round there by Aaron. Fortunately, no ace for him. But you, it's always better to go for safety here. I think yes, Gray's just trying to. Round. One of me for, for Salborn here isn't looking too good. I mean, a couple of them are forced to save here, I think. I think I saw an operator on the Salborn jet though. Possible, very possible, especially, I think he went um, light armor operator. <sighs> yes, he did too. Good pick from Aaron here, nice and early on. Very early rotate as well, doesn't look like they're trying, the grey side is lurking anymore. I think they realize that their pushes are a lot stronger when they stick together, yeah, just get those early picks out and then push the side and just Flash out! Out of charges. Yeah, it's still on that My operator. He hasn't been taken out just yet. Could be Toxins very dangerous with this retake here for Soulborn. Toxin screen down. Enemy remaining. Good pick from Omnit there to get top ropes. It's the operator down here. I think Gray is going to be winning this round here. Very unfortunate there for Marco and Mame to be Omnit there. Good, another good round from Gray here going 8-2 eight, eight, two, with two rounds left of this half. We did see the Breach Ultimate come out from the Salborn side, just unable to really capitalize on it. Good from Gray to get the flawless i haven't really seen fury need to use his lineups too much here i suppose brimstone really has been doing all the work there just making sure that if if the team does die out then he's there just for that extra that extra bit of time delay Tired out. spotify is looking to be very aggressive here towards this year maybe getting an early pick 
for 25 HP. It was very, very bad timing there with the with Aaron that came through. Good pick from Chang there. Oh, Spotty for Addict nearly, just barely getting away with his life there. Good pick from Fury towards Oni there. Now they've got B-side for free here. Freaky just making sure he gets that pop Welcome down. Welcome to Spotty for Addict left on five HP. Fury's on 21. Very po very possible side to side of trouble to get around in here. Salmon on the operator here, trying to get that kills way down that's flanking. Bomb grenade. From Chang, managing to get the operator down. Okay, Max. There it is. There's the kill joy. There's the kill joy ult here. But I think it might be a little bit late here. It's giving that, that spike a lot of time to get down. One enemy remaining. What if I did manage to frick Fury's still left on site alone here. This one enemy remaining. That's the round for Grey. Very unfortunate there. Very well played by that Grey side though. I think that that Killjoy L just came in a little bit too late for that Cellborn side. Last that, round in that the half. That was definitely the round changer there. Cellborn still has that Astra ult. Hasn't used it yet. Very surprising, Maybe. I mean, that Astro ult just goes across the whole of the map. I'm surprised they haven't used it in a few rounds. Especially, especially considering they got it really early on as well. There's also been a few rounds where their has, Astra has died quite early in the round. Maybe they were looking to use it, but died too quickly. True, he was there. You should run! 45 HP here with a whole of Grey side just busy pushing him down. Fast Fricky managing to catch him off there. Aqua with a stinger here and see towards CT here. Kidjoy managing to detain him. Aaron here getting very aggressive here towards towards CT. Stim beacon here. I think he's looking to play a timing here with Aaron. Oh, Aaron gets picked off first. Good pick from Omelette there, through the box. Fury getting one there on Exodus. Spotify Addict jumping up. Just managing to get Salmon here, 3k for, for Spotify Addict at the moment here. Not too sure where the last two players are here. Aqua just trying to clear the smoke. Last Fury standing. managing to get him left in a 2v1 here, Spotify Addict. Just, just, just unable there to get that kill on Fury. Very good round there from Fury getting the 3k there. Switching sides. It's a great attacking half for Gray, managing to get 10-2 already. Should I play some stars in this reality? I think we still didn't see the Astro ult coming out from Oni. See why he wouldn't use it, why he would keep it. Used it very late on though as well. Almost played to their advantage there, but I think he almost used it a little bit too late because there was so few of his teammates left when he used it. Very early push here from Salborn side on A. Fury just left so defenseless here on side. Just unable to get a pick down with him. Spike planted. Go get him. Oh, good pick from Salmon. Flanking the two of them, getting managed to get both of them that were sitting dish. Very well played there. One enemy remaining. Are they aware the last one is Mania? I was just managing to get that spam down before, before he's able to detonate. And Aaron coming in touch there with that kill on towards Shang. Good retake there. What if I had like coming for a timeout here in all chat?
first time out coming out for the snowborn side. What do you, what think, do you think they, they might... could be discussing in this timeout here? I think maybe they just current rounds that they have. I think they're just maybe trying to get the morale up in the team. It's quite difficult the mindset when you're nine rounds down. Mm, I agree. I think it's I think their captain at the moment is doing their best just to just to reassure the team to get as many rounds as possible here. It's definitely not a situation you want to find yourself in. I mean, this is what I expected for Grey, Grey versus TMC, but yo, what a game that turned out to be, eh? Grey One. nearly coming out on top. One for the record books. Indeed. I think that's the first time TMC has actually been put to put challenge. Considering their, their, their dominance over the ACGL league. Looking to three stack here. Opposite of what what Salborn had been doing the whole time. My work in their favor here, considering how, how early the Salborn fight is aggressing towards the here. Good made from Omelette here. Spike Managed down, the Spike carrier down here in, in that brimstone Ops volume. Down. Good pick here from the spot if I it. Managed to get fat fricky and Aqua as well, man. You can sound here. Spikes down. Time getting the pawn down here. Four here. Aaron managing to get a kill, not losing too much HP here. This could be tough for the Selborne side here. Not don't have much HP on the board. It's very, very possible retake here for this great side. It's very unfortunate. Very well played there from the Selborne side with the jet flanking. Setting up for another B rush, just with the lurking jet at the back. Oh, it's very unfortunate from Fat Freaky. Just managed to get caught off guard with that. Quite Good nade there from from Omelette, putting some damage on there from Chang. Excellent managed to catch Omelette there. Very, very much in the Salborn's favor here this round. Launching smoke. Player standing. Pick from Oni there. Now you just get salmon on the crossfire. Spike planted. Long. to get a buy here from the grey side now with the amount of money that they have. Looks like. The quick timeout there might have maybe just helped the Salborn side. I think so, because they could have looked at down it a lot earlier as well. Here! Here! Turret out! Definitely seem to have put some sort of spice onto their chicken. Salborn does have their Killjoy ult for this round. Early spoke here, smoke here from Brimstone, allowing him to push up towards that corner there. Just wondering if the Salborn side is going to be smart enough to clear that corner. With that smoke especially, I mean, it's, it's going to allow for anything, really. Oh, now they know he's in the corner here. Unable to get a pick there. Chang just getting in there. Looks like a great time from dish here. I think Killjoy might be looking to use his ult here just to confirm this round. Spikes down! Oh, I'm gonna manage to get, to get Chang there on the cross back. 
Very winnable round here for this grey side here with the, the Viper of smoke that's down. Very, very winnable round here, man. I'm gonna make me stick on the site here. Fury getting the other player was also stuck on site here. This is left. This is left. What if I had it in exit? This is a very sticky situation here with that. One enemy that remaining. Smoke that's down. Very good pick there from Fury. Very unfortunate there from Exodus looking to get that shock into the bomb. Oh no no, you don't deserve Good retake attention. there by the grey side. Just picking off the Salborn players one Very by good. one. Very good retake Match there from point. the grey side. 3v5 there. Very well played. I think that just shows like Grey's capabilities in those retakes in those situations. I mean how much they've been practicing as a team as well. They do now also have the Viper ult. I think he could handy. just be Viper's on B this round it seems so he could just be looking just to just to tank down on this Time side here. Field test. Especially with the killjoy utility as well. I mean this is gonna be make this is gonna make B almost unreachable for the cellboard side if they play this right. But the killjoy ult here could could mean otherwise. Very good nade there from Omnit looking to delay that, that cellborn push. Salmon here going for this flank here. I don't think the Salborn team is aware of this. Salmon may need to get one before he gets picked off by Spotify Addict. Salborn. Salborn looking to rotate, rotate here. No charges left. Or oh, Omelette in a good situation here. Managed to get down the bomb carrier. I don't think he's aware Spike that the Salborn is here. Oh no, he's aware now. Spotify Addict just not managed to get him there. Out of charges. Oh, he's left in the backup now. One Good enemy remaining. With the old. The one v three now. Pick back well, or Fury managing just to get off with it. Well, very well played by the Grey side there, and that's the game. Yeah, it looks like the Viper ult might have just given Soulborn just some second thoughts there. Didn't actually place down the Killjoy ult. I must say that would have been a very good counter towards that B push and that B side hold. For that killjoy ult to go down because that would have allowed them to push through that viper smoke and get down that, that get that um get that viper out the way especially considering the amount of time that you can spend out of viper ult since the update it's very 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 tough scenario that i must say especially with the the score line as it was i mean it's, the nerves are at an all-time high you really you don't really have that critical thinking capability that you normally would let's say when the scores are four five but i think overall that was very very good game from the grey side there. Showing clear dominance towards Salborn. And good way um, to in the Derby weekend as well. Yeah, very good way to end it with the the esports league here. And I think that's I think that's where we're gonna end our our live stream as well, ladies and gents. With a 14 3 a 13 4 victory towards Grey High School against Salborn. Omelette. Omelette going 18 for 10 and the Spotify Addict not too far behind him here going 15 for 14 and Aaron going 18 for 9 as well. The two outstanding performances there from Aaron and Omelette and um, we'll leave you with that I think folks. So thank you for tuning in for this, this um, eSports match and we'll see you again later on.